Welcome back to Love and Junk Food. I'm Laura. I'm John. And today we're trying foods we've never tried before. So I'm not sure if you remember, but when I was a kid, I was a very picky eater. And from what Laura says, she was pretty picky as well. Yeah, but John is still a little bit more <laughs> sure. picky than the average bear. bear. Yeah, I would say. So a lot of these foods we would have shied away from as kids. However, one, I, one was my life. <laughs> and I cannot believe when I tell you, John has never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Never have. I, that is shocking to me. So he's going to try that in a little bit. I'm excited to see him try it. We'll <laughs> see what he thinks. Peanut butter and jelly flavor things though you probably have had or no? Uh, I don't think so. <sighs> no. It's so good. And I made it in, in a recent video. I said it has to be white yeah. bread cut on a diagonal grape jelly crunchy peanut butter. That's we'll how I like it. We'll see like how I like it. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something out of my life and maybe I am not. But uh, next thing you know, I'll be going, getting those Uncrustables. He'll be, and... <laughs> oh, it, it, you should have an Uncrustable and I should live vicariously through you because I love those. I love a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, yeah. I haven't always had my nut allergy. Peanut butter and jelly is life. Uh, on my side, I've never had rice pudding. Okay. Never. Um, the, te the texture just makes me, it just feels like something I'm not going to like. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if I have evolved um, in that way. Okay. We also have a vegetable we've yeah. never tried. Wax beans. Neither one of us have tried wax beans. And I don't think neither one of us are excited to try them now. But we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Uh, then we also have French dressing. There's several dressings I've never tried. Oh. Ranch is king as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see how that is. Yep. And then also, we are at the age and stage. <laughs> no, we are not. Prune juice. Yeah. Ah, prune juice. It seems like I associate prune juice with older people, and I don't know why. I believe it's for a certain effect it has upon the body. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that'll be last. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And also, in other news, I did not want to buy a huge thing of it. I wanted to get a little thing. I couldn't find a little thing. I, I mean, I could get a little can, but a six pack, which was way more than just the bottle. Yeah, so. and for a penny and for a pound, you know, uh, you're getting prune juice, you're getting prune juice. All right. So let's start with wax beans. All right, to, sure. Because... And because this is not a review of the Del Monte product, it's just yeah. us trying wax beans for the first time, we did salt and pepper them. I love green beans. Even out of a can, I love green beans. You, not so much. I did not like them in the can. I like them frozen. I like them fresh. All right, let's smell. They smell like green beans. Mm, they sure do. Canned green beans. Yeah. Oh, so I love that one. They, they look just like green beans, but... <laughs> You know, they look like they're about to faint. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm, squeaks when you buy them. What is a wax bean? It tastes just, just green. like its green friend. Yeah. Hold it on. You it does taste just like its green friend. <laughs> um, I like them though. I mean. I still hold, you know, the same is true here that frozen or fresh is better than canned. But for sure. you know what? Canned in a pinch, it'll do. Green beans get their color from chlorophyll, and yellow wax beans are simply green beans that have been bred to have none of this pigment. Hmm. Okay. Why well, call them wax beans? Doesn't that seem like like a an unappetizing name yeah so. recently we tried some healthy smoothies and people had a few things to say when we mentioned black carrots about how 
Um, in other places, you can get carrots of all colors and varieties, whatever. And here too, here you absolutely oh, can yeah. get carrots Purple, yellow, in all varieties. Orange. However, we never say black carrot. That's no, just a purple. carrot, or or heirloom carrots, or yeah. or a variety of carrots, or, or whatever. <laughs> but also, the other point was it said fruit yeah, juice. Yeah, fruit juice. So that's why the carrot thing threw us off. I instead of responding to so many comments that we thought we'd do it in a video. Anyway, wax beans, just like green beans, only, you know, they need a little bit of a tan. <laughs> that's, that's right. All right? That's fine. Let's try the French dressing. French dressing I looked up. French dressing is an American dressing. Of course. Which I feel like, am I right about this? I feel like salad dressing here, there's way more variety. Oh, like when we talk I to our so. friends in other countries, they don't have ranch or not as much of it. I mean, just ranch alone, <laughs> standing in the supermarket, I bet there's 20 different kinds of ranches. Yeah, of course, yeah. And more in some other stores. And then there's French and Catalina and vinaigrette and balsamic vinaigrette and, and raspberry Italian, and, and creamy Italian. And, and, yeah, and then, yeah, all kinds of craziness. We'll have to show how many salad dressings we have at some point in a video, but um, it says it gets its color from tomato puree, okay. and it's basically made of oil, vinegar, some lemon juice, okay. and a little tomato thrown in. All right. That doesn't sound horrible to me. I don't think there's enough. That's funny, I wonder where it gets its name. And it also says like paprika. Oh, okay. Season, it does, you can kind of smell. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more on. Oops, probably not. That's way overdressed. <laughs> no, I'm gonna mix it in. I kind of want it mixed in. All right. <laughs> Cause we are, you know, we're not, we're not reviewing Cheers. the salad, it's the dressing. Yeah. Cheers. Here's what I'll say. That's not my favorite salad mix we've ever bought either. It's all right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try it just by itself. I like it. Yeah. And guess what? John would have never picked this. He would have never done this in a million years. He would see red and think tomato and go psh, out the door. Put your finger in it by itself and see if you like it, like pure. I think it's good. I think it's good too. Yeah, it's very like vinegary. Mm -hmm. And you know how like, um, I bet that would be good with like fries even. You know how a lot oh. of people dip ranch or like vinegar with chips is a thing like yeah. I can, it's so vinegary i can see that I'm being stressing's good that's good who Me? knew not me who knew all right have you had rice pudding you've had rice pudding before, I, right i kind of think i have but i don't know i mean i know i've had tapioca which is kind of similar ish but there's that cinnamon on the top yeah it's this i think this is a mexican style um, rice pudding. I love pudding. Hold on, I'm gonna cheat for a second. Does this just taste like vanilla regular pudding? That's what I have to know. Yes. <laughs> I have to like put my toe in a little bit. I mean, it's not like it's mayonnaise. I don't know. It's pudding. Pudding. It kind of looks like, I don't know. You try it first. Yeah, you eat cottage cheese. I was just gonna say, it kind of looks like cottage cheese. I like it. I'm pretty sure I've had rice pudding, but I don't know. It's been a long time. I like it. I don't love it. Um, I like the cinnamon. I like the flavor. Mm -hmm. But if I'm going to pick pudding, I would go vanilla or chocolate or something else, I think. Butterscotch. Oh, yeah. I love butterscotch pudding. Mm -hmm. What do you think of it? Mm. I like it. I actually think that the cinnamon kind of throws it off for me. Really? I would rather have it without the cinnamon. But, <clears throat> and they, I think typically a rice pudding is like that, but with the Mexican style, I think they put the cinnamon on. It's so much thicker than regular it is. pudding. 
Yeah. Much more filling, which I was trying to see. Can you tell? I can't with the lights. How many calories is in that? 290. So it's, it is very filling and it feels very rich and what I mean. Yeah. Like I said, I like it. I just don't love it. All yeah, right. I like it. I, I can see <laughs> having that for a, like a dessert or a snack sometime. Okay. Yeah. Now peanut butter and jelly. Oh, Want to have your first peanut, peanut butter. butter and I jelly. I didn't know if we were over. down to prune juice. No, let's do that last. <laughs> <laughs> now you scared me. <laughs> All right. Chunky peanut butter. So wait, before you do this, have you had a peanut butter sandwich? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And have you ever had jelly on, like jelly on toast or something? Sam's the peanut butter. No, it's the, it's the jelly that caused the issue for me. I but, didn't, didn't want the jelly. Um, but have you tried it to know you don't like it or you just think in your head you don't like it because of how it looks? I did. What, I wouldn't touch jelly as a kid at all. And by jelly, we mean, mean jam, if that's how you have it. Right, but what about since you've been an adult? You've never had jelly? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's not something... I mean, it's nothing I was really missing from my life. Well, remember, but... you have had jelly. I have. I'm going to correct you. On what? Inside a donut. And you like it there. I don't know that I've ever had a jelly donut. What? Part two. There you go. I really? I had a jelly donut. I would. No, cream filled kind. Now that's that's where it's at. Here's what you jelly don't donut? know. No, mm. shh. Here's Too what you lying. don't know about this guy over here. <laughs> His full name is Jonathan Donut <laughs> Blank. <laughs> he loves donuts. So the fact that he's never had a jelly donut blows my mind. Anyway, Do you okay. need glue? put too much gloop in there. I did go. He supervised me making this. I put a I whisper. I did not. I was doing other things like heating up this and making the salad. I'm saying <laughs> you saw me make it and I didn't put on too much jelly. I'm right. not commenting she, on your workload. <laughs> I, in fact, told her to make it how she would want it. That is how I made it. Do you like the crunchy? Mm. Do you I like the jelly? Do you get do you like the crunchy peanut butter? Yeah. You said it's before. It's a nice little texture in there. You said before you would have chose creamy. I'm mm -hmm. definitely crunchy peanut butter girl. So this is completely out of your comfort zone. Except for the bread oh. part. Oh. <laughs> I like crunchy peanut butter. I like bread. I just never had it with jelly. And my thought is I would prefer creamy peanut butter on it. But this is good. Okay, there I, you have I, it. I, I mean, it's good, but I don't feel like I'm really mi have been missing anything. Like I didn't eat this and then suddenly go, what have I been doing my entire life? You know, this is very it's, disappointing it's, for me. This whole part, <laughs> like I, I could cut this whole part out of the video. Aww, oh my gosh, this is the best thing I've ever had. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly. It's because it's so sad for me that I can't eat it. And he's just like, whatever. <laughs> That's so sad for me. I love peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I don't even know if it needs to be shook up, does it? Oh, they all need to be shook up. Shake well. Okay. Prune juice. I want to smell it. No, I don't. <laughs> it actually kind of smells like it smells a like fig tea. Newton. It smells like tea to me, actually. Oh, it kind, kind of, does of smell like tea. <laughs> if I think about it in that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Prune juice. I have to look at it like, I mean... There you go. Like, I've had Jägermeister. It can't be... <laughs> <laughs> it can't be worse than that, can it? My lord. Mm, that's not bad. You can drink the rest of it. That is not <laughs> it for me. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not something that I'm like, ooh, let me go get me some brew juice. But it's it, not, like, disgusting. It tastes like what it looks like to me. It kind of does. It but... tastes like brown. <laughs> It tastes like brown. Well, it doesn't taste. It doesn't. No. It 
it doesn't taste um, sweet enough. Here, here's the thing. If you had to drink it for your health, you know, mm -hmm. sure. Sure. It's not awful. I could awful. choke down a glass of it. it if it's I had not to. awful. But to just sit and have a juice with breakfast, I'm never choosing that over orange or grape or apple or whatever. I don't know that anybody does choose it over that I, stuff. That's your assumption. That's I don't true. know. Do you enjoy Let me know. Let me cream know. juice? I'm I'm so curious. All right, let's go back through yep. the thing. Yeah. Um rice pudding. This is not my new favorite. I probably wouldn't purchase it again, but I'm not afraid to eat it. Like, if I go somewhere and they have it, I can enjoy it. What mm -hmm. about you? Yeah, I, I like it. Um, I could see having it mm -hmm. sometimes, occasionally. Okay. I just, you know how I am about, like, calories and stuff. If I'm going to eat something, I want it to be my favorite. Yeah. I, I just wouldn't choose this over vanilla, chocolate, butterscotch, whatever. Wax beans. What I don't understand about wax beans are, but why? Somebody well, tell me, because if they have green, yeah, and there's a million different kinds and and brands and whatever, why is there one lonely thing of wax beans? Like, is there a benefit? Right. What is the benefit? Is it just aesthetics? Like, oh, I want my plate to look a certain way? Yeah. Or, I don't know. Because it doesn't seem like it would be um, cost effective to have a whole different you know, product mm -hmm. just because it's a different color. It doesn't make sense to me. Maybe we'll have to do some research online. If we do, uh -huh. we'll let you know in the comments. Or if you do, let us know in the comments. I, I mean, it's fine. It's just a canned green bean, which I like. So, um, but now I know what they taste like. Indeed. And if we saw them somewhere, or, I don't know, maybe they're on sale or something. I wouldn't be afraid to get them. Right. French dressing. I am pleasantly surprised by this. However, I feel like I'm never going to choose it for on a salad. I would choose it, however, for a dip. Because it's kind of, like there is a tomatoiness to it and a vinegar. Um, it's different than ketchup though, as far as like, it's not sweet, like right. how ketchup is. Yeah. I can see using a, yeah, it for it a dip. I can see it being good on like chicken. Uh huh. Something yeah. like that I can see. Um, but I don't think I'm going to want it on a salad or I am the master of liking to mix, so I could see a little French and a little ranch. Yeah, I mean, my thing is, I mean, now that we've purchased this and done, done this review, um, like, if I were to buy French dressing for a salad, I would probably only want it on, like, for that occasion, because otherwise, like, like I said, ranch is everything, you know, uh, or, you know, some other salads. You might have a taste for like a vinaigrette or something like that. But if you buy this whole thing, you're probably just going to waste the rest of it. I think it would be so good to dip like chicken nuggets in. Mm, for real, for real. So we'll use it in other ways, just probably not for a salad. Yeah. Peanut butter and jelly. I thought it was going to change John's life. <laughs> I'm so disappointed with this whole part of the video he was just like Psh, peanut butter so what i love peanut butter and jelly now a peanut butter and banana sandwich that is something else that is good that is good have you ever had one of those mm -hmm. <laughs> i was gonna say we're you know what else video. i used to have <laughs> peanut butter and bacon oh that sounds i think that'd be good yeah okay um prune juice prune juice i would get it if I had to get it for a reason, if you know what I mean, uh, I wouldn't get it otherwise. Yeah. If, if, yeah, if I can get it down. It's not horrible, but it's just very lackluster for me. Is there anybody out there that's like, I need to go to the store or I want to drink prune juice or is it a necessity? I'm, I'm so curious. I do like though that it is 100% juice. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many different things that we have here that you're like, oh, I, let's get some juice. And it is not juice. It contains 0% juice. Yeah, or like 3% or something. You know, yeah. it's ridiculous. But. Yeah. So anyway, we are going to think and put some more effort into seeing what other things we've never tried. This was fun. This was really fun. There's plenty of stuff like at restaurants, you know, different pasta yeah. dishes, whatever. But we were trying to think like, is there fruit we've never tried? Is there vegetables we've never tried? Is there, you know, so anyway, this was kind of fun for us. Let us know something that you have never tried before. Fill up our comments with that. And maybe we'll get some inspiration from yeah. all of you. 
Uh, speaking of the comments, that's where you can subscribe to this channel along with our other channel where we do and review other things and our game channel where we sit and hang out and play games. Yeah. It's just us in the evening. So subscribe to all the channels and then just watch the ones that you want to. We also are on Instagram and our Instagram feeds to Facebook. If you want to find us there, we would love it. Make sure you check out our stories because that's where we post the most frequently. Now, if you love trying new things. Yeah. Or wax beans, French dressing. This, I feel like I'm gonna have a good old stomach ache. Peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> rice pudding, French dressing, <laughs> wax beans, and prune juice. Mmm, now you gotta finish it all. Or are glad that we tried all these things so yeah. that you didn't have to. Or a or video. video. Give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps our channel when you do that. That's all we have for today. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.